Hi, this is 4Golf Custom, and this is our Custom Fitters review of the new TaylorMade M6 Rescue slash Hybrid Club. Um, I've got some great information coming up in the video later on about the type of player and type of player profile, but also really importantly, the type of shots that you can play with this club and what makes it so versatile. Um, if you're new to the channel, you're very welcome. Please subscribe. Um, Dave, the word rescue, we might need to explain that first. Okay. So I got a bit of this in fitting sessions, you have as well. Certainly. I mean, rescue is basically a hybrid. Correct, yes. Rescue is tailor-made terminology for how to describe a hybrid club. I guess in reality, both names are just based around its versatility, its ease yeah. of use, it rescue to get you out of shots I, when you get right. yourself into I'm, trouble. I think it comes from the fact that like, usually when you're pulling this out of the bag, you're usually in trouble. Yeah, or absolutely, it's, it's yeah. a complicated slash difficult shot. And I think Taylor may come up with this phraseology, the rescue in order to try and save you. Which to be fair, I think you know, most yeah, of the that's time what it does. For, yeah. um, so let's slip on then. So now we know that hybrid is rescue and rescue is hybrid. So that's clear, so you've got that. So let's move on to um, how to fit it into the bag. So how does it, let's work out where it goes in and how, you, how you're slotting it into people's games. So tr traditionally it, it, it came about as a, as a way of removing long irons from the golf bag, which are notoriously quite difficult to hit if you are high in handicap, struggle with golf, etc. So originally its form was to replace irons in the golf bag. I guess an important note, and if you're watching, um, it's not a wood replacement. No, so don't take your fairway woods out of the bag and put hybrids in, although you can if you're using the higher lofted woods. The, your nine woods, your seven woods. Right, it's but here's an important point, folks. Don't take out your three fairway wood and replace it with a three hybrid, because they're two very different clubs, correct? Length Just explain profiles that. are very, very different. So through the leverage, the longer length of the fairway wood will make it go further. You will never get a three hybrid to go as far as a three wood when struck properly. Gotcha, right. Um, we also had a conversation around the distance. So we know this has a speed pocket, which you know Taylor have developed over the last couple of models since, I guess, rocket balls course, back yeah. in the day. And you made a great point about the family of products. So these are great in terms of replacing long irons. And if you're thinking about you know taking out long irons out of your set and putting hybrids in or rescues in, we definitely agree with that. But you've made a great point about the keeping it in the family. I, th I think as a plug and play product, it's brilliant. As in off the shelf. As in off the shelf, provided you're fitting it into a tailor-made M6 family. Fairways at the top end, irons at the bottom end. Because the technology then runs all the way through and the distance thing runs all, runs so, all so the way through. So you'll be able to find its, its spot better. Absolutely. So as an example, if your highest fairways are five, at about 19 degrees, then you can put a four and a five hybrid in and then you only need to start your irons from a six. So what Dave is saying, folks, is if you're gonna drop this into your set, you're gonna have to get fitted for it. You're gonna have to go with your Mizuno irons or your whatever irons, check to see your longest iron that you can use comfortably, get the distance Certainly, yeah. of it, and then fill in the gap with the right type of hybrid, be it a hybrid three, hybrid four, and then up to your next fairway wood. So if you're pull, plugging it straight into a, a tailor-made set, Pretty e easy, good to go. strand forward, go Fairway ahead. Fairway woods, hybrids, irons. Brilliant. Um, right, on that basis, trying to figure out the right type of club to player. So, so let's say, let's, let's do a player profile. Okay. So I'm a good fairway wood player. Yes. Let's say I'm 19, 20 handicap. Um, and I'm kind of a decent hit and good, good speed, but I struggle with my irons. What type of hybrid should I be buying? Well, I guess, I guess your first point is you find your level of comfort and go from that, whether that longest iron be a six or a seven or a five, whatever it needs to be, your next product then becomes its replacement. So find that point, whether it be a six, yeah. then your fairway wood that you has most comfort with, that okay. might be a five. Okay. In principle, there's room for two to fit in there. So you put a hybrid five and a hybrid four, and then that bridges you from your longest iron being a six cool. to your weakest fairway wood being a five. Okay, so then I'm an inconsistent long iron player. Yes. But I might be a mid to low handicapper. I'm not necessarily, a, you know, I'm not struggling or I'm not a beginner. Um, and I've, and I've not, I'm not a big wood fan. So I okay. don't really like fairway woods. I've yes. got this thing about, you know, high lofted fairway woods. So Certainly, fives yeah. and sevens aren't really mm -hmm. in the mix. But I'm inconsistent with my long irons. What sort of hybrid? Again, the same conversation. What I mean, find, find the point where most people it's a five iron, which is why most sets are now threes are disappearing and fours yeah. are slowly disappearing. So 
if you don't like fairway woods, then potentially you have a 3-4 hybrid combination, the 3 being strong in loft, 19 degrees, strong, powerful, and the 4 being your more flight and get it in the air type product. So you could have no fairways, a 3 to do your fairway wood job, a 4 yeah. to be your bridging, your long, your 3-4 iron, and then start your irons from 5 down. And then shaft-wise, quickly, just to tie that all up, you mentioned a great point about, you know, if you're... If you're a decent enough golfer, if you're kind of mid to low handicaps, you're in that kind of, you know, 11, 12, maybe even single figures, and you've got steel shafted irons, do you go steel shafted hybrid? The, a lot of them these days are designed to have graphite fitted to them, the head weights are like that. So it's not to say that you can't, but it's very, very rare that you would actually see the benefit and the transition of it through the golf bag. So nine times out of 10, you're going to put graphite in there if it's a hybrid club. Just keep it on the firmer side of things because when you're going from steel to graphite, you've got a change in the weight. So when you take a little bit of weight out of the shaft, it tends to weaken it off a little because it's not as thick on the wall. So if you're reg if you have steel, then go. don't be afraid of going a little bit firmer, but have it in graphite as a shaft. Twistface is a technology that TaylorMade have continued on from their drivers, fairway woods, and now into the hybrids. To be fair, it's a bulge and roll extension, so really it's where the bulge and the roll or the way that the face is actually angled to help with off-center hits based on path direction. It does help a few players, but not everybody. The other technology then is the deep low CG, which I'm loving from this M6 family. They've pulled the CG really deep and low. CG is center of gravity. What that does is it keeps everything down below the ball, which means these are easy to get into the air and very easy to hit off the fairway. The Speed Pocket then is another technology that they've taken from their Adams brand way back when. It's where they put this channel into the bottom of the club and it allows the face to flex into it and gives it great speeds from that twist face. In terms of the versatility from these hybrids, this is where they really come into their own. And the shot, the type of shot versatility that comes from them is why you should be considering these into your bag. They're not just good for a specific distance. What they do is they actually have different shots that you can perform with these. So there's great off the tee. So those long, comprehensive or difficult par threes, or you're trying to find a specific spot, the distance off the par fours, you can use the hybrid off the tee. It's really easy to hit, gets the ball in the air, and because of its length, very easy to control. The other shot then is off the fairway. Obviously perfect yardage, sitting in the middle of the fairway, you're struggling with those longer irons, you're not really sure what to hit, then go ahead and hit this off the fairway. Then out of the rough, this is where they got their name from TaylorMade. The Rescue Club is if you're an emergency shot, you're in the rough, you need to get out of the rough and get it out quickly. These will lift the ball out of the rough quickly and get it down either onto the green or certainly close by. And the last really good shot that these are good for is the chip and run. Great here in Ireland for the Lynx Golf. You can actually use it like a putter stroke, put the ball, stroke it, chip it and run it up onto the green. Hope you've enjoyed that information and that content that we've produced. It's all about fitting and how we've been fitting these clubs to our customers. So if you like what you're seeing, subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching. Team. One, two, one, two, one, two. Hello. Is, is sound there? Am I on? Thanks, Charlie. <laughs> We're up.